and declare it say for him and declare tonight no one say tonight no
God we serve. He has given us victory and we will lift him what? High in our generation. That's what we will do. Because I can see a number of young people here. And we thank God because as I said in the beginning we are the remnants that God is calling. Hallelujah. If you are a remnant, why don't you turn to your neighbor and tell them I am the remnant. been so good to us and in the morning in the service I was talking to to the people that were gathered in church City Lighters Church and I was telling them something that I found to be very profound in the book of John chapter 4 he's also a, a preacher <laughs> In the book of John, chapter 4, verses 22, the Bible talks about a Samaritan woman that Jesus meets. And it's very, very interesting that God is talking to this Samaritan woman about worship. But if you check her past, she shouldn't be the one, probably, God is using to describe worship. This woman had five, four husbands, and even the fifth wasn't his. So to be honest, the description of worship does not really apply when it comes to this woman. And the Bible talks about Jesus asking, please don't stop. Jesus is talking to this woman and is asking this woman. In verse 22 of John chapter 4, and he's telling this woman, and they're conversing and he's telling this woman that where you are worshipping is not of importance. That the place doesn't matter. But he's telling this woman, how you worship me is what matters. And in verse 23, Jesus is trying to now describe to this woman how he wants to be worshipped. And he tells this woman, this is the way I want you to worship me. In spirit and in. And I used to wonder to myself when I was young, because I started leading worship when I was very young, and the understanding of worship for me was not there. So I used to wonder when they say truth and spirit, what does that mean? When somebody tells you you are not worshiping in spirit and in truth, and sometimes people would tell me, I didn't feel the spirit of the Lord in that worship. I, there was no truth. And so as I searched my scriptures, the only thing that, the only truth and thing that God searches is your heart when it comes to worship. Your motive. Tell your neighbor your motive. The condition of your heart. In Matthew, the Bible says, Jesus is addressing some people and he's telling them, that they are worshipping me with their lips, but their hearts are so far away from me. And so I began to think about my heart. What is my motive of worship? Does my spirit connect to the spirit of God so that the truth and the truth which is the word of God, those things combine together and then there's an aroma that comes up to heaven. And you see in our generation, 
Worship has been made to be we come to church, we sing and then we go home, but there's no encounter. And so even as I was coming here today, my prayer for you, even if we will not get out of here with anything, is that you will have an encounter with God. As young as we are, that it will be said of us, my son one day will stand and say that my father worshipped God in spirit and in truth. And I want to follow the same God. I don't know what has happened to the monitors. That it will be said of us, yes, much better, to be said of us that we worship the true God. As for, we are going to worship for a few minutes. And I want you to check your heart. I want you to forget about everything. And I want you to focus on the core thing. Tell your neighbor the core thing. Even before we sing a song, can we lift up our hands before him? I don't know. I know. Probably, I shouldn't be telling people to lift up their hands. It should be just something that probably we do. But at times, that reminder that we are standing before a God that is higher than every other God. Come on, worship him. Just, just pray on your mics. Let's fill this place with prayer. Father, we enthrone you in this place. We enthrone you in this place. We enthrone you in this place. Jesus would have chosen a multitude of people to talk to about worship. But he chose an individual to talk about worship. An individual that didn't even have the godly standards. So your individual worship is very important before him. I want us to lift up a voice in this place. Jesus is concerned about you. It doesn't matter what you have been through. It doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus is concerned about your worship. He's concerned about your praise to him. In reverence and in adoration, come on, lift up your voices in this place. In other tongues, in other voices, in your own language, and lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, man, let's just go. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. With the lifting of our voices, Lord. With the lifting of our hands, oh God. With the lifting of everything that is within us, Lord. We reverence you, Jesus. We reverence you, Jesus. In this place, in our generation, in the generations to come, we will call you Lord, Lord of our nation, Lord of our families, Lord of this land. Father, we have thrown you in this place. Come and make our hearts your home. Come and make our hearts your habitation, your dwelling place, a place where we can converse with you, Lord. We create space for you, Jesus. We create space for an exchange, an exchange, oh God, that, Lord, you will replace a broken heart with peace and joy. Where you will replace sickness with healing. Lord, where you will replace, you will replace the spirit of fear with your power, Lord. Where you will remove condemnation because there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. Let there be an exchange in this place. Let there be an exchange in this place. Let there be an exchange power. Let there be an exchange power. Father God, just as it was in the days of King Hezekiah, oh God, we pray that the Lord as our generation, we will learn to lean on God. We will learn to lean on God. We will learn to lean on God and not on our possession, not on the, the oppression. Lord, we will learn to lean on you. Lift up a worship in this place. Lift up a worship in this place. This is the main reason we came, Lord, to meet up with you, oh God. Let there be an 
exchange, an exchange in this place. Say, yes, eh. you are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Jesus, you are worthy of my praise. Sing Yahweh with our voices come. Yahweh, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 oh. you are worthy. You of are worthy of my praise. Sing Rafa, Rafa, you are worthy. You of are worthy of my praise. Say, The Lord our provider, say Jire, Jire, you are worthy of my praise. Say, oh, you are worthy of my praise. Call him Nisi, the Lord our banner. Say, Nisi, Nisi, you are worthy of my praise. To be brave. 
vizazi hadi vizazi vya kufahamu wewe ulie Mungu wa kale na ulie Mungu wa leo kazi zako Vizazi hadi vizazi vya kufahamu wewe ulie Mungu wa kale na ulie Mungu wa leo kazi zako kazi zako zaonyesha and the lifting. Say, Quay. Say quick. Oh, Lord, but we have seen no other God with power like yours. 
with might like yours. All the other acknowledges that you alone are to be praised. You deserve all glory and honor and praise today. Be enthroned today in this worship. Wasta Wasta Wana Kweli Wasta Wana Kupokea Uchukufu Sema Wasta Hili Wasta Like in Jesus' name, we pray and believe. In Jesus' name, we do pray and believe. 